Hey, hey guys, what is up? My name is Matt, and today uh, I'm gonna teach you how to um, ins make a bucket server, I guess. Um, so we're not doing port forwarding today. Maybe if I get 20 likes on this video, I might do a port forwarding video. So uh, today I'm just gonna show you how to download stuff and do all that stuff. Okay. So first, you wanna open your browser. I use Google Chrome. You can use whatever you like. Uh, so I'm just gonna wait for it to launch. And what you wanna type in the search craft. You wanna search craft bucket. Enter. And it'll search for craft bucket. Okay, it's just slowing down. So you'll see here, craft bucket here. Click it. And it'll lead you to this page. And what you want to do, you download it and development build right here. Or any any type you want, you can download later versions right here. And I want to keep it, I guess. And okay, so I'm using Google Chrome. This might be a little different. So now I'm gonna, gonna open it. Don't don't open this because it might crash and it'll open like another server. Yes, I really don't not know, but I tried it before and I crashed. So do not open it and okay, just X out of everything. And you got this right here. I recommend. Oh my god, um, I would uh make a new thing right here new and a new folder you wanna name it anything you want so I'm just gonna name it YouTube name it craft bucket server whatever and here YouTube so and you want to do is drag drag your craft bucket here name it rename this rename this this craft bucket to craft bucket just craft bucket craft bucket so and then what else you want to do is go to your start menu and open a new notepad one um okay so in the description I have that where you can just copy it I guess and save it oh god I'm lagging Let's see where's the exit button because okay so I want to save Okay, and here's to keep a note. I'm gonna name it launch. You can name it whatever you want, launch. But make sure after lo whatever the name is, you can type in dot bat. Type in that. Make sure you do that. And I'm I'm gonna save it into the folder that I saved it in. Okay, let's let's scroll down. I'm gonna save it here. Save. So, okay, so I have that. Once I, I double click it, and it says loading libraries, and it's gonna load it, I guess, and yeah. So, you'll just wait until this launches, and I'm gonna turn on Minecraft while I'm waiting. Okay, so, it, 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 it starts uh, putting some stuff in your um folder or whatever you put it in so so you launch minecraft let it load okay i'm gonna go ahead and play and gonna <laughs> so um yeah, this is how you basically create a server and stuff. And I also leave a download to this pre-made. So you guys can download it if you have problems installing it or whatever. Uh I'll just leave a download link. I'll just I'll just be nice and yeah. You can download this by your own. I heard that some people have trouble doing this like the launch.bat if you type it in some odd reason it doesn't work but I found a way how it to work make it work so it might be a little bit laggy because when you launch a server it's 
really not that good. So I'm gonna go. Oh, um, what? You, don't type in that. So what you do is type in local host to join your local host. So if anybody's in your house and they're connected to your internet, when I type in local host, so they connect to your server. And okay, so you haven't port forwarded it yet. So, for example, if your friend is like all the way in Canada and they're connecting to their internet, and you're all the way in the United States connecting to your internet, basically, it's like a LAN server. This is a LAN server. It hasn't been port forwarded yet. So once it's port forwarded, it's basically a WAN server. WAN, W-A-N. It's basically like all worldwide worldwide con internet connection so it'll give you an IP and then you can anybody so you're in United States and your friend is in Canada they can connect the person in Canada can connect to you because you port four lits and you're you, you you're complete so I'm just gonna enter and it's joining in logging in doing all that stuff so I'm just gonna wait until it lets me in See, uh, I joined in. Oh god, it's pretty laggy. So, there you have it. Um, I guess. And also, also, here's some tips. Um, I'm gonna exit out because it's a lot laggy. And I think. Okay, here's some tips. Um, wait, when you see this, uh, server, um, you, you might want to open it, right click it, and properties, properties, and change open with change and change it to notepad i i use notepad if you have a uh, like notepad plus plus which i might do someday so yeah and then you it's like basically like the rules but it's limited rules so here we go you can change like pvp falls do all that okay and this is where you if you like if you ever seen people do in their like server you can do slash spawn and stuff like that you want to add it here to the plugins list which you find it you just type in minecraft plugins I guess and when you're on here he here's a tip of commands you just type in help it'll give you like tons of commands uh, to don't don't press this exit button when you're like when you you're like I don't know like maybe don't just don't press the exit button it doesn't save so what you want to do is just type in stop so it stops I guess so thank you guys for watching my epic video see you guys next time on another minecraft video or whatever tutorial video <sighs> okay bye